Yo boys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from the Foot Market. I have another upload. It's going to be upload number two for you guys today. And it's going to be a uh, shorter upload. I don't know if it's going to be that long. I might end up rambling. But I wanted to discuss something with you guys that's been pretty interesting via the market recently. And it's been something that a lot of you guys have been asking me about. And I've actually been talking about it in my streams as well. Um, because it has been happening. And it's interesting, right? It, it like It makes for a good discussion on this video. So I said, you know what? Let's talk about it today so if you guys enjoy the video drop me a thumbs up and i would like you guys in the comments down below to do something for me really quickly on thursdays what has been working the best for you you don't have to give away the stuff that you're making the most coins on but on thursdays what has been making the most coins for you guys via the market now if you guys do not watch my videos if you do not follow my trading if you do not know anything about me thursdays have been a huge day a huge <laughs> a huge day in terms of making coins uh, every single week because what Thursdays allow the market to do guys is the market just goes up 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 man Thursdays really give the market a really steady rise um, Because of the coins that are brought onto the market um, So when you log on to Thursday ultimate team This year the difference is that you get foot champions rewards and if you're playing foot champions rewards You also get guaranteed rivals rewards and so what what that means is you're gonna get these coins from foot champions And I already talked about it this year Foot Champions rewards are easier to get this year. You guys can finish in gold three with 14 wins and get 30,000 coins, two mega packs, and a 50k pack. That's a lot compared to last year. You had to let, you get less wins. Uh, you get less wins now than you had to. And then you, if you just play like half the weekly, you're going to get Div Division Rivals rewards, which means that you're going to get packs um, from Division Rivals, which is sick. And, and a lot of times people take the tradable packs. So the market is supplied with coins, and that's why the market on Thursdays goes up. But recently, very recently, ladies and gentlemen, the market has not been going up that much on Thursdays. It... It's been going up respectively in some departments, but overall has not been going up that much. So you guys have been being like, yo, Nick, make a video on it. Talk about it. Why has that been happening? Why has that changed? So I'm not here to explain all that to you guys today. And I want to hear from you guys in the comments. What cards have you guys been trading and flipping on Thursdays? What have you been buying before Thursdays? It's been going up. What have you not been buying? Let everyone know in the comments because at the end of the day, boys, let's, this is, you know, we upload and we do these videos for, so everybody can make coins, right? Like that's. That's what we do. So what has been working for you guys? I would love to know in the comment section down below. Um, and I'm going to talk about it. So let's start. Why, why in the last two to three weeks has the market not been going up as much on Thursdays? Well, there's a few reasons, right? First of all, I'm going to say this right now. People are saying FIFA is dead and FIFA is less popular. I completely disagree with you. I think there's been more people on the game the last few weeks than there was the weeks before that. And then obviously in the beginning of the end, most people are on it. So that for me is irrelevant. I think what's going on here and what we're seeing, guys, is as I drop my controller. A lot of the cards that we used to flip um, were more of the card cards like Arnautovic, cards like Bai, um, you know, cards that are like less... Uh, less expensive and, 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 and more meta for the value, but I feel like we're now moving on to this stage where a lot of people now can afford icons. A lot of people can afford Team of the Years. A lot of people, instead of just going and buying uh, an Inform Jesus off the market, what they're doing is they're going and crafting <laughs> crafting an icon um, and, and putting that in their team, and that's their upgrade, or, or that's their way of using coins. They were working all week to get a Crespo, and they used their last 30,000 from Division Rivals to finish Crespo. You know what I'm saying? So that's something that I'm starting to see with the market that I think may be happening that we're just not even picking up on. So for me, Thursday flipping is still a thing, and yes, buying before Thursdays is still, still very successful in its own way. It just hasn't been as good because of that factor with people now, I think, having more opportunities to go in the higher route of things. I think that you're seeing that have a real impact with some of these definitely lower budget cards. It's impacting uh, the overall values of them as people start to graduate and move on to other things, in my opinion. So what I wanted to also bring up in this video is not only that point, but I wanted to bring up the other factor of this thing called the recency effect. We talked about this in my stream yesterday. Cards that come out newer are always the most popular. So when a card comes out, um, let's say Team of the Year comes out, right? And now this week we have Future Stars players. What's more popular, guys? Tell me right now because I think you guys all know. Sadly, it's the Future Stars players. People are more interested in the Future Stars players because they're all newer and people just want to rock new cards in their team. Now, of course, long term, what will rebound? Obviously, guys, long term, what will rebound is that people will go back to Team of the Years because Team of the Years are just the best players in Ultimate Team. However, though, guys, um, I, I look at it in the way that, you know, the future stars are newer players. And I think what that does is that people have a very, very high interest, guys, um, in newer players. They always do. So I think you're seeing recently, I will say this, just recently, 
What I have noticed on Thursdays is that players from closer team of the weeks and closer special card teams have been going up more. So that doesn't make sense, right? Because essentially you would think older team of the weeks are rarer. They should be going up more out of packs, right? Like that would make sense. Well, I'll tell you this, ladies and gentlemen, they they really haven't. I've been trading with Bale. I've been trading with these group stage cards and they went up a lot last Thursday because EA finally changed these to a special card. So now you can find these in the market. Um, but realistically, no, they haven't been going up as much as let's say a team of the week, like team of the week 17, right? Where you have not even that many good players, but last week at rewards, Fernandinho went to 120 and he was, uh, he was 95. And I think that's because you, you see this recency effect on Thursdays where people on ultimate team want to try new cards for their weekend league teams. They want to try newer cards. I think Erickson was like 450 and now he's 420. I think I'm not positive, but yeah, I mean, I think he's lower. Yeah, he went up to 450 and now he's down at 420. So you're seeing that as a something where they went in like crazy on the card. Then a week after or two, it, it goes a little bit deader and then it starts to get rare and people going on it. So I think this week, you're going to see cards like Draxler. You're going to see cards like center back Fabinho. I think that's a unique one. Um, De Gea, I'm not so sure, but you're going to see some of these cards that are, yes, more supplied, but you're going to see them start to go up a little bit more. Team of the years haven't really been going up at all during rewards. Um, team of the years are in a very, very weird state right now. I'm actually losing a good amount of coins in my team, which sucks. Um, it's tricky with team of the years. They're going to rebound a little bit at the end of this week, but I think there's this whole kind of thing with team of the year where people are kind of selling them to get these cards because these are newer. Eventually these are going to bottom out. But I think again, guys, you're going to see these cards during rewards this week. I know it sounds stupid. I know you guys are going to get annoyed by it. You're going to see these FFS cards go up at rewards this week. In my opinion, I think there's no way around saying that they're not going to. Um, in my opinion, they're going to go up a ton. Um, they really are, guys. You have to be realistic with yourselves. I think they're going to go up a lot this week. I, I have to be honest with you, boys. Um, for me, I, I totally see them going up. This Hazard, for me, is 1-1 right now, 1-1-2. So I'm going to start to look at getting some players um, for rewards this week. But I, again, I'll tell you with this team of the week, right? Like I had bought a Pereira at, at 32, and I sold him at 41 the day after he went out of packs after rewards because of the recency effect. The same thing happened with Firmino and Felipe Anderson. So I'm starting to now look at more of the recent stuff rather than the past stuff because for me, the recent stuff positionally that has been popular is going up the most. The people that see these newer cards on the market and 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 are they're just I think they're just more attracted to them, man. And that's, that's what I'm looking at and seeing. And so I, I feel like for me, I have to stand by that because... It's very relevant. Um, it really is, guys. It's very relevant that that is a thing going on. And I think you just have to adapt to it. I think if you are struggling to understand that concept of this recency effect, um, because we, we have to be realistic. Like, guys, like, I'll, I'll show you guys right now. Well, that's, I probably did the wrong position there. Hold on, I want to check out this hazard. But I want to talk about two players right now that, that I've really noticed this with. Um, this hazard really won one. That's. That's interesting. What we're going to do right now, guys, we're going to set this price right here at 1-1. I'm actually interested in this card. Let me see where, if he's got an undercut. Let's see. 92. Where are you? Not on the market. Not there? I don't think it's there. Let's go like 900. Is there any? I do not see the 93. Okay, I was just seeing if that was on the market. It looked like there was a snipe up. Um, anyways, the thing the thing that I want to speak about was like Lucas Hernandez and Ben Yedder, right? These guys on Thursdays, as you guys may have known, if you're trading with any of these cards, these bros on Thursday, guys, used to go up. I can't even explain to you how much they used to go up. Like, Hernandez will go from like 130 to 180 every week. And so what you're seeing now is his, his rise is a lot less because you have other center backs, you have other cards available. So not only do you have less recency because that card's really old, you also have so many other cards available. And what, what's going on with a lot of these earlier cards is that these are cards that were used religiously early on. And people get tired of using the same card forever. So people are moving on from these cards now, in my opinion. And they're using other newer cards because they're just tired of these cards. So the same cards that used to go up a ton every week during rewards aren't, simply aren't just going up as much because of this idea of, okay, people are moving on and they want to play with newer cards. It's the same reason why... God, it's the same reason why I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think of something to tell you guys right here. But like, it's the same reason why when you see a new SBC come out, at rewards, the move is always to buy the players around that SPC player. Um, so like Ndombele, right? It's from Lyon. Um, you're probably gonna see Arar and you're gonna see Delict, even though they already went up a little bit. At rewards, they should go up a ton because I think a ton of people did the SPC and people are gonna squad build and get players for that, even though they're expensive. So that's kind of the concept is like buying players around these players 
at before rewards because it just brings on a certain level of logic and sense that people would be buying players around him. Like, so I heard that we're going to get a Alfonso Davies SBC. I would assume that you're going to see Ronaldo Sanchez jump 20 to 30K at rewards this week because people will complete that SBC and that will cause people to buy Ronaldo Sanchez on their team. In my opinion, that, that that's probably what will happen. Um, so that makes sense to me. Um, I wanted to make this video for you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, man. I'm always down to hear you guys, what you guys are thinking. Um, and I want to hear everybody's thoughts and, and how they're feeling about this idea that I'm bringing to you. Thank you guys for watching the video today, and I'll see you guys in the video soon. Peace out.